I think the most masculine men have the courage to love, and I think men who are insecure, who are hollow in their masculinity, want to be worshipped. But men who are rich and mature in their manhood know the power of loving. It's different than wanting to be loved. It's actually having the courage to love. Here's my advice to you today. Walk away from the 97%. Don't talk like they talk. Don't act like they act. Don't go where they go. Don't specialize in what they specialize in. Throw away the blame lists they cling to. Start you a new life. Switch gears, switch language, switch ideas, switch strategy. Start with the simplest of disciplines and don't be mean any of these disciplines. The smallest of disciplines starts the process of life change. And if you'll invest in this thing called business, you can have whatever you wish. It's called the beginning of miracles. There's a coldness that you have to accept when you're a man. Only women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. Women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. A man is only loved under the condition that he provides something. Don't ever be ashamed of anything you've done in your life. Face it. Fix it. Make it better. Build belief. Build confidence to the point where nothing can hurt you, because you know exactly who you are. You faced your demons. You were able to hear all your past traumas. You're able to fucking say, okay, I'm no longer embarrassed. I'm no longer ashamed. Being ashamed is one of the biggest things that kill people nowadays. One thing people need to understand about extremely nice, kind, loving people is that the other side is just as extreme. It's the hell they have survived that makes them gentle. Don't mistake their self-control for weakness. The beast inside them is sleeping, not dead. Speak these five lines every morning. One, I am the best. Two, I can do it alone. Three, God is always with me. Four, today is my day. And five, I am. You buying a new car? Shut your mouth. You buying a new house? Shut your mouth. Getting married? Shut your mouth. Going on a holiday vacation? Shut your mouth. Going to do a course? Shut your mouth. Got promoted? Shut your mouth. 99% of the time, the reason that your dream's not coming true when they supposed to is because we open our mouths too soon to the wrong people at the wrong time. Never ever put me in a position where I have to show you how cruel and ruthless I can be. Don't test my patience, because I might be the kindest and sweetest person you've ever met. But once I reach my limit, you'll see me do the things that no one thought I was capable of doing. Imagine you have $86,400 in your bank account and someone takes $10 from you. Would you be so angry that you throw away the remaining $86,390? Or would you move on and just live your life? Exactly. We all have 86,400 seconds every day. Never let 10 bad seconds destroy the remaining $86,390. Learn to ignore the negative and your life will be much more enjoyable. The greatest man in history, Jesus, had no servants, yet they called him master. Had no degrees, yet they called him teacher. Had no medicines, yet they called him healer. He had no army, yet kings feared him. He won no military battles, yet he conquered the world. He ruled no nations, yet they called him king. He committed no crime, yet they crucified him. He was buried in a tomb yet he lives today. His kingdom is not of this world, yet it lies within the hearts of those who believe. Though he left no written words, his message has filled countless pages. In his weakness, we find our strength. In his suffering, we find our salvation. Jesus, the greatest man in history, continues to invite us into a story of redemption, love, and eternal life. If you believe in this message, comment Amen and share this with someone you love. Joker once said, If people treat you like an option, leave them like a choice. Yes, I am a good person, but you cross the line too often. They say I've changed a lot, and I reply that a lot has changed me. When trust is broken, the words, I'm sorry, mean nothing. Before you judge me, make sure you are perfect yourself. Be careful who you trust. Salt and sugar look the same. Sometimes you have to play the fool to fool the fool who thinks you're a fool. I smiled again, not because I was happy, but because I was strong. If you're not following me, you probably won't see us anymore. If you are, congratulations. You grow every day.